Hey guys, welcome back to another 3D printing video. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at some filament. And it's made by a company called Overture. And this is their PLA Pro. So I've actually used their regular PLA for quite a while and I've been enjoying it. And I'm really quite excited to see how the Pro here will print like and what the benefits of the Pro PLA are. All right, so let's get started. Alright guys, so as you can see we have six different boxes here and this is how they come packed. So we have six different colors. So they are enclosed in a box, which is really nice. And here on the front we can see it says PLA Pro. This is looks like the purple color. There's our diameter of 1.75 millimeters. It's a one kilogram roll. And the interesting part is it actually includes a build surface. So I think you get a build surface with each box. So Overture also provides PETG, TPU, and other stuff. And also they have build surfaces, tools, nozzles, and, and I guess a bunch of other kind of accessories that 3D printers need. So yeah, these guys do everything needed to get printing. All right, so let's go ahead and open this box up. So there's a little coupon here. And right on top, we can see we get a build plate. And it looks like it's a 200 by 200 millimeter. So that's actually a great size and could be very useful for, you know, a lot of prints. It looks like a nice surface too to it. So it should stick really well. So if you're the kind of person that goes through build plates quite fast or prints heavily, you know, this is an advantage here because you get one with each roll. And it looks like we also get a little measuring ruler here. One side has inches and the other has centimeters. Very cool. All right, and so this so this is what the spool looks like. So this is purple. Looks to be quite an attractive color. So these are vacuum sealed very well with the silica packet in the middle there. But yeah, overall it really looks just like the other rolls. Just a little bit of different coloring on the labels. And it does say PLA Pro here. So we do have measurements. So you can see, you know, how much filament you got left. Or I guess that's the grams that's left. And this is the guessing meters here. So all right, so let's go ahead and unbox all of them. So here we have a white. Very nice, really bright white. Here we have a green, and this is more on the lighter side of green. This is kind of interesting. So here we have orange. This is a gray color here. It looks, seems to be very bright and vibrant. I'm kind of excited to print something with this one. So here's a really interesting color. This is pink, and it's definitely on the light, light pink. It's not like a dark pink. So this is a very soft color here. Girly color, maybe. Well, definitely unique looking for sure. It'll be interesting to see how that prints. All right, and our last color is blue, but it is more like a baby aqua blue, I guess. Also a very attractive color. Very interesting. So the PLA Pro here has very unique color offerings. So now that we got all our filament out, we need a printer to print with. And the printer we're gonna be using is the legendary Ender 3. And this is the reason we'll be using this machine because this is probably the most popular machine out there still and the most well known. So mechanically, the only biggest difference I have compared to a normal Ender 3 is TL smoothers installed. And I do also have stepper motor dampers, but that doesn't really affect the quality. So the prints you'll see coming out of here will be pretty much the same you would see on most Creality machines. All right, so I'm gonna start it up. We're gonna preheat it. So let's go ahead and start with this blue. I'm really excited to see what that's gonna look like. Break the vacuum. That was a really strong vacuum. Large silica packet. Man, and this blue really, really looks good. I definitely like the way it looks. I have a good feeling we're gonna get really nice prints out of this PLA Pro here. So let's go ahead and install the spool. So let's go ahead and purge it. All right, so we're ready to print. And so the model I'm gonna print is a Benchy since you know everyone knows what a Benchy looks like and what it's supposed to look like because we have six different colors to print. I'm gonna print six different Benchies in these colors and hopefully that'll be good enough to see how everything looks like with this Pro PLA. All right, so I think everything is preheated. Let's go ahead and start the Benchy. So the benches that we'll be printing will be at 0.12 layer height, so pretty fine layer heights, and relatively normal speeds at 50 millimeters per second. Inner walls, and I think it's going to be like 25 on the outer, so. 
All right, so there it goes. It's purging. Looks like to be a really good start. And the filament's laying down really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and print all of the colors and then we'll take a closer look at them in detail. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed that little montage of these prints here. So we printed six benches, and we actually printed this bigger benchy here that's more of a specialty benchy, and that was printed with the multicolor palette two set at random. So let's see how our benches came out. So here we can see the blue benchy. And to be really honest, guys, I don't see like a huge difference, but one thing I did notice about this filament, it seems to have a more matte finish. But as far as details go, I mean, you can tell it's pretty much spot on and how it normally is. So overall, the filament laid down really good. And this blue probably has to be my favorite colors out of all of them. It's either this blue or this pink. Never thought I'd like the pink, but because it's kind of like a specialty color, it's pretty unique. So as far as the print goes, they all look the same the print quality since they're all printed on the same machine so some of these will be easier to see and some of them will be harder but they're pretty much all identical in the print quality and I do have to say this filament prints very well here we have the orange so the orange is more of a more of a like a darker orange I guess I don't even know how to explain it but you guys can see it's not like a very bright orange it's it's bright but it's on the darker side if that makes any sense yeah, also a pretty unique color. Very nice. Now this green here is pretty, I would say generic looking. Nothing too special about the color or the way it is. But you guys can kind of see the matte finish on it. It's kind of like a satin finish. There's not much shine to it, which actually makes the models look better. So here we have white, and this is definitely on the bright side of white. It's not like an offset white and also this turned out very nice and then we have this purple which is also a very unique color here and you can see it's not shiny either it's more satin and it also turned out really really good so I really like how all these filaments are laying down now I think what's special about pearl filament over you know regular filament is polymers in the filament meaning there's more attention to how it's produced how it's wound and so it has a better quality overall and less of a failure rate compared to non pearl filaments and if we look at the the roll again here we can see it says excellent durability bubble free clock free tangle free compatible with most 3d printers toughness enhanced and the consistent diameter of the 0.05 millimeters so in a nutshell that's what pla pro has to offer so let's go ahead and look at this giant benchy here well it's not that big but it's 150 percent of the original benchy so and so this was printed in random mode and those are all the one, two, three, four colors that it was printed in. The palette two in random mode decides kind of on its own. You just set the parameters of more or less, and this is what comes out. You get a really unique look. And you guys can see we, on the bottom here, we have blue, but on the edges here, we kind of have purple. It's definitely a really cool and fun print to do with random mode on the palette two. So obviously the palette two can do a lot more than that. I don't know if you guys can tell the finish on this benchy, but it is amazingly good. 
kind of hard to tell because of the color change. And check out the bottom. The bottom looks awesome because we got purple and then we got blue underneath the letterings there. So that turned out pretty cool. Yeah, and this thing does feel like a rock, honestly. And it's got 20% infill. So the Overture PLA Pro is definitely, you know, more special than the regular PLA. And let me show you why. So I did decide to print some extra things here with the palette also. You can see the color layers there. So these are just little crimps that you crimp like bags, like chips and stuff. And so a lot of times PLA can't handle this kind of stress. But if I show you guys, or well, let's go ahead and try it. If I push it, you can see it bends really easy and it doesn't break. And I'm pushing it really hard by the way. So it's opening wide mouth. If I let that go, it's really strong. So I have a feeling that the Pro PLA, you know, just extends a little bit more toughness to the filament and then regular one also. In any case, guys, so this is the Overture PLA Pro filament. So this video is more of an overview and what you can get and the colors you can get. And as you can see, the prints are awesome and their colors are unique. And I know there's people out there that get used to a certain filament and then they use it. And everyone seems to, you know, swear by the filament that they use. So with my experience, I definitely noticed, you know, there's differences in filaments and brands and the different kinds that are available and things like that. So, but overall, PLA is PLA you know and when it's PLA Pro it's obviously going to be better you know it's going to have that more reliable kind of printing where you can depend on it more and that's what I think the Pro is for is for people that are more serious about what they're printing and they can't afford the filament to be the weak link in their project so yeah it looks like Overture has a really good product here with the PLA Pro and I'm definitely going to enjoy this filament and definitely use it in my 3d printing videos to come so if you're interested in this filament I'm going to leave some links in the description so check that out and if you guys enjoy enjoyed this video then hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this and other things i do on this channel i do a lot of 3d printing stuff and there's a lot more to come so hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed and also go check out my 3d printing playlists where i have a lot of interesting things and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one peace